nice. Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Winter NAM 2016 in Anaheim talking to Peter and Matthew from Charvel. Matthew, tell us about the guitar we're looking at here. Okay, so for 2016 on the Charvel San Dimas, we did a lot of upgrades, a lot of stuff under the hood. And uh, so here, we'll start with the San Dimas. So all the San Dimas models will have chrome hardware as opposed to the trans finishes. We'll get to that in a little bit. Direct mount pickups. Uh, JB in the bridge and a 59 in the neck, Seymour Duncan. Added the thumb wheel butt adjust at the end. You can adjust it in between a song. Lefty loosey, righty tidy, as easy as that. No taking off the neck. Uh, we have a uh, compound radius board, 12 to 16. Jumbo frets, maple neck. Uh, okay, now to the knob and the placement. So originally on the Charvels, we had the knob right beneath the bridge pickup right there. We moved it out of the way. Okay, added a three-way blade instead of a three-way toggle, and added a tone knob. So for all the purists out there, without the tone knob, you get a really bright, full sound. With this tone knob, it's no low tone. At 10, there's a detent. It bypasses the, the uh, whole tone, and there's a bypasses all the capacitors and stuff. You roll it back to 9 and below, and now it adds in the capacitor, and now you get a tone knob. Okay, on the three-way blade, here's the position. So on position one with the volume knob down, it's a full humbucker. In the middle position, it's the inner coils in parallel. On the position three, it's a full humbucker. Now, if you pull the knob up, go to position one, now you have a full single coil pickup, bridge. In the middle, you have the outers in parallel. And then in position three, just single coil by itself. Let's hear a few of those combinations. Is that cool? Yeah, right. So what are we going to hear first? Uh, well, we already heard the full bridge position. So basically what we can do is we can get to, uh, we'll do the middle position where you kind of want to roll off, you know. So in the first one. So then we go to the middle. So you kind of get that spanky sound, you know what I'm saying? And I think a big reason for us why we did this is we felt like you maybe were a little bit limited before with Charvels, that you, you had three different combinations and that was basically it. We want people to be able to have one guitar that can do pretty much anything you want, you know? So, you know, for cleans, this is, this is perfect, you know? You can get to the top position, you have your normal, you know, you just have your normal bridge pickup, you know? Okay, so we kind of we had to roll off a little again here. Basically, what we do is so when you when you put when you pull it up, you know, and you stay in the first one, you're gonna get that single coil feel, you know. That's spanky. And then in the center, you know, you're gonna have outer coils, which is gonna be a little bit different too. And then in this one, you're gonna have your your you know your uh, your single coil there as well, but it's it'll be. So that, more compressed. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I mean, so basically, it's just having a all these variations with one guitar. You're looking at it; it kind of looks, you know, kind of looks similar to what we had before. But as you see, with we have all these different combinations, so you can get a lot of different variations, and it's suitable for a lot of player because of that. Cool. Swiss Army so, Knife. Swiss Army Knife. How much is this going for? They're going to street out at about eight ninety nine. MSRP is around twelve oh eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lot of, we have a lot of different finishes here as well. I mean, we kind of just chose the most, the more eccentric ones, but this one will come in trans finishes as well. So we're going to have a tobacco burst. That's going to be a purple burst, and we're going to have a trans black and a the trans red. Exactly. So this They're like glowing in the dark right it now. It almost looks like it does, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah. So we got these screaming colors as well, you know, for the kind of like an '80s throwback as well. So we have we have this one, and uh, over here we have. We have the uh, the hardtail version of this one. This used to come in a hum sing. This year we decided that it's we want to give people the same total options as the other one. So we have uh, chosen to uh, uh, to switch over to a humbucker. Uh, same configurations here with the no load that Matt was talking about. You know, push pull. So you're basically getting the same thing. It's just in a hardtail version. This nice one, finish and the yeah. white pickups look really nice on there. Yeah, and this is basically the same thing. We got a JB and a 59 here. Um, this this model only used to come with the maple fingerboard, but we've added uh, we've added rosewood to this one this year as well. This one comes in five finishes. We have Snow White. We got 
the satin uh, cobalt blue, we got the orange, uh, satin orange blaze, a trance blue, and a, am I missing one? Yeah, metallic black. Metallic black. Yeah. Cool. Well, Matthew, why don't you tell people where they can go online to find out more about these guitars and all the other Charvel models? Yeah, charvelguitars.com is where you can find all this. Um, yeah, and visit your local dealer. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks, Peter. Thank Thanks you. for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com.